So I'm going to talk right now about a sample thesis. Um, so here's my thesis, and I'm going to do it on, on a somewhat controversial topic. It's, it's gun control. Um, so, you know, from my personal perspective, it, it doesn't actually matter what I think. Just remember that this is an, is an example. Um, but I am going to actually make a logical appeal. So this is a logical appeal uh, against gun control. Uh, if I wanted to do a, an emotional appeal, I might have told the story of Sandy Hook and then said how it could have been present, uh, presented. If I, if I wanted to do an ethical appeal, um, I could maybe appeal to the fact that, you know, any weapon or, or any sort of weapon of death that's designed for killing is not an ethical thing to, to be legalized, right? Um, so those are different appeals, but I'm going to take a logical one and actually say, well, let's look at the Second Amendment. So, the thesis is, opponents to gun control claim that their right to bear arms is constitutionally protected. This is true, but I argue that the Constitution is a living document that needs responsible updates as times change. We need to make sure the Second Amendment is still doing the work it was intended to do. Personally, I think the Founding Fathers would be very concerned with what constitutes arms in today's society. Therefore, we need to look at the purpose of the original Second Amendment, how that purpose doesn't apply in today's world, and what we can do as a society to make sure that we get gun laws that protect our rights, but also protect others. So, what I've done is, is I've laid out what I'm going to be talking about. Um, I've addressed the person. I've actually said that it is true that the Second Amendment does uh, give us the right to bear arms. They are correct. However, why don't we take a closer look at the Second Amendment and see if it's still necessary. See if we can't maybe tweak it. Um, and you'll see why. So here we, we open it up. And, you know, if, if people are having to sit there and listen to you, they'd be like, okay, well, this is interesting. Let's see what this guy has to say. If I'd come out and said, like, this is dumb and guns kill people, blah, um, people would not be very interested. That would be an immature argument on my part. So, let's break this thesis down. Um, that thesis seems longer than the other theses that I've, that I've written, right? It's longer than the informative, than the informative thesis I gave you. Uh, and that's because it's supposed to be. In order to make a reasonable argument that is respectful of many views, you need to, one, make sure you state your case as clearly as possible. So mine is, I argue that the Constitution is a living document that needs responsible updates as times change. We need to make sure the Second Amendment is still doing the work it was intended to do. Two, make sure you acknowledge and validate the opposing viewpoint. You aren't saying it's right, you're just saying that it exists, it exists and people have the right to say or think it. So, opponents to gun control claim that the right to bear arms is constitutionally protected. This is true. Make sure that you say clearly what you're using to persuade your audience. So this is the part where you really lay out that, that thing. And it looks a lot like an overview, but, it, but it's not. It's, it's, a much, it's part of your thesis. In, in an overview for persuasive, you go into a little bit more detail about what exactly you're going to be talking about. So this is actually part of the thesis. Personally, I think the Founding Fathers would be very concerned with what constitutes arms in today's society. So I'm actually appealing based on logic. Guns have changed. Um, arms have ch has changed. So maybe I'm, you know, maybe the Second Amendment needs to as well. So therefore, we need to take a look at the purpose of the original Second Amendment, so they know that I'm going to actually cover the Second Amendment, how that purpose doesn't apply in today's world. So I'm going to address um, that the Second Amendment might be an anachronism, um, and what we can do as a society to make sure that we get gun laws that protect our rights but also protect others. So. <clears throat> I'm arguing basically maybe, maybe, we don't know yet, but I might actually be arguing for a compromise in uh, between banning guns and, and, and perhaps some sort of reasonable place in between those two extremes, which I guess the other extreme would be what we have now, which is guns everywhere. But actually, in this speech, I would actually go for the opposite uh, extreme, not just guns, um, but a whole lot of other stuff, and you'll see why when I start to talk about the body. <laughs>